Hey guys, welcome back to Jurassic Collectibles. Bit of an impromptu unboxing going on today. I've had some stuff arrive and I thought, well, why not open it in front of camera? So without delay, we're gonna get stuck in right away. Yeah, I didn't really plan for this unboxing. It's just a few things that have landed all at the same time. Okay, this seems to be someone's fashioned a box out of other boxes. Sometimes you get that, don't you, with with purchases. Oh, now this is one that's been a little tricky. In fact, impossible to get here in the UK. And here it is. Oh, it is the Kitchen Encounter Pack. I hope you can see that. Doesn't that look glorious? Oh, wow. Here it is. And it comes complete with Tim and Lex and the Raptor and a frying pan. Don't forget the frying pan. Let's look at the back. So there's Tim, Lex and the Raptor. And I love how in the background they've even got the little windows with the jungle through, which I, if you watch the film, you can actually see that in the background of the kitchen. So... Very nice. And the Raptor actually looks much better in person. With a nice sparkly eye. They've used some sort of metallic green paint there. Very nice indeed. And um, as you guys know, uh, Tom and I have been doing a uh, Legacy Collection chat. If you haven't watched it, or listened to it, sorry. It's where we discuss the Jurassic World Legacy line and uh, our thoughts on it. And we compare it and contrast it with the Kenner line, the original Jurassic Park toy line. Link is down below if you want to go and check that out. But um, yeah, there we go. Nice one to add to the collection. Only can be found in the US at the moment. So the next thing actually I received uh, in the post the other day and actually was a very good gift from my friend uh, Ben. Um, it turns out that I had a spare Raptor vocal chamber like the ones you see in Jurassic Park 3. I had a, a spare replica and... Um, I weathered it up for him and sent it to him as a gift. And in return, he sent me these wonderful Jurassic Park vintage stationery books, which um, are actually really obscure. Um, at first, they look like the ones made by copyright, and they are. But if I get this one out of the bag that I've put it in, you can actually see that it's got down here, it says by Pigma or Pina. It turns out it's actually an Italian rebrand of the copyright notebooks. And they've got these very distinctive rounded edges. Um, on the back, it's still got the same as before, but you can see down here it says Collection Gold. And it says Design by Copyright. So it's obviously started at copyright and then they've outsourced it to an Italian company. And inside, the book is actually squared paper which you sometimes get in European notebooks. And it's actually got some personal information you can put in the front. You probably wouldn't do that nowadays. And then in the back, you've got an actual guide to some geometry in red and black ink. So yeah, very unique Jurassic Park notebook. But he sent me a whole range of them. So in the same style, we've got a Velociraptor one which I believe was used on pen packaging for the UK copyright. The Tyrannosaurus Rex notebook, which I believe was used on the big ring binder folder in the UK. And I, I will do uh, a more in-depth follow-up review because I've got quite a few of these and these are just more of the more obscure ones. And um, I was over the moon when Ben sent these. Let's get this big one out quickly to show you. But it's the same style as the other one. Uh, apart from this one's a little bit more of a, like a spreadsheet for your finances. So I'm assuming these would be school books that children would use. But here in the UK, we didn't really get uh, squared notebooks. We get sort of ruled straight line notebooks. So yeah, very unique. Collection Gold. Same design as the notebooks in the UK, but just... A different format and a bit thicker as well. Very nice. 
And last but not least, we've got the Dilophosaurus. So huge thank you to Ben. I'll put a link to his uh, Twitter and uh, Instagram, I believe. He's part of the um, Jurassic Park motor pool and he does amazing stuff with his vehicles and his collection. He also recently did the uh, Lost World book club for Jurassic Park podcast. Um, so yeah, go and check those out. I was on the Jurassic Park one. Um, but yeah, definitely go and check those out as well. <sighs> right. So these turned up on one of the Jurassic Park Facebook groups, I believe. And I decided to invest in two. I've got two of these because one I'm going to keep in the box is actually A5 notebook and socks to celebrate Father's Day. Now, I'm a father and um, probably my family might see this, but it was so obscure and hard to get hold of. Um, these are found in Poundland in the UK at the moment that I don't think they would stumble across it. So I had to get these for myself. I just like the fact that I've got socks that say Daddy Saurus on them now. So that was my main reason for getting this. Yeah, this is actually in the sort of Jurassic Park 25 branding as well. The 25th anniversary sort of branding with the Jurassic Park logo and that fossil motif that was on everything from the uh, from the 25th anniversary. Look at that. Obviously, you don't get a mug, but um, you get the notebook and the socks. Isn't that great? Yeah, I just had to pick this up. And I don't usually pick up things like this. I have to be absolutely honest. This is a rare thing to get something that's come out in recent times. Usually, I'm getting just vintage stuff. Okay, let's slide this out. Comes in a nice little cardboard tray. Let's move the socks to there and have a look at this notebook. Oh, it seems like it's stuck to it. I think it's got a little bit of, there we go, a little bit of tacky glue on the back. And it's got the new circular Jurassic Park logo that's on pretty much everything. Well, I've got no shortage of notebooks at the moment, I can tell you. I've got the, I've got the Italian style vintage ones and I've got this lovely Daddy Saurus. Like a normal daddy, but more rawsome. Look at that. Oh, look at this. Jurassic Park logo. And in the corner of every page. Very nice. It's actually got the licensing information on every single page. So even if you tore a page out, you'd still know that this is an official Jurassic Park product. There we go. And what I like about this is they've used the design of the DVD. So this was actually the first time the DVDs came out in the early 2000s. Uh, this is actually the design they used on the DVD cover and I'm a really big fan of it. So um, that's really cool, really appeals to me. Okay, let's have a look at those socks. Oh, look at this. Daddy Saurus, like a normal daddy, but more rawsome. Oh, that looks nice. And again, look, they're not missing their branding. <laughs> they're not gonna let you get away with that. Oh, and look, actually, is it just one sock? Is it me or is it just one sock? Oh no, one's fallen down. Phew, I was gonna say. I guess if it was just one sock, I could have used it as a, uh, a stocking at Christmas, a bit like Mr. Bean. There we go. Let's take out this cardboard insert. These socks are definitely gonna be worn. That is really cool. And you've got the Jurassic Park logo there. Very nice. How lucky am I? Like I say, weren't very expensive. Poundland at the moment, if you want to get these. That's why I picked up a spare one. Um, but yeah, perfect for uh, for Father's Day in the UK, which is coming up. I don't know if the US celebrates Father's Day on the same date. But yeah, would make a perfect gift. So there we have it. That was today's look at some recent acquisitions. Got the uh, Mattel kitchen encounter. Got those amazing Italian notebooks from the uh, early 90s from Ben. Thank you, Ben, so much. And I got this lovely Father's Day merch. Okay, guys, rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.